take control of your finances. Gain insights from top industry professionals. Financial topics that matter to you from your go-to resource. This is Right on the Money with your host, Dennis Matter. Hello and welcome to Right on the Money, the show that features financial advisors, insurance professionals, and fiduciaries who discuss financial topics that empower you to take control of your finances. I'm your host, Dennis Mattern, and we are so glad you've taken time out of your day to spend with us. Of course, remember, you can watch full episodes on our YouTube channel or rightonthemoneyshow.com. Now, today I am pleased to be joined by our friend Trey Fowler, president of Gemini Financial. Trey, great to have you here, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Always a pleasure. Now, for those folks that don't know you, where do they get in touch with you? Where are you officed? We're officed in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, we do work all over Arkansas, but we're officed out of Little Rock, West Little Rock, out on Cantrell. West Little Rock, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's dive right into your practice. Let's talk about Gemini Financial. And uh, I know your practice well. And one of the things that I have always appreciated about you and your practice is your ability to really get to know somebody. And a lot of practices say they get to know their clients. How do you do it? How do you do it right? I guess the way we do it for us, the right way for us is to really just ask the questions. We spend a lot of time, especially our first meeting, is all about you. I want to know who you are, where you came from, about your kids, about your grandkids, about the things that make you tick. And by knowing those things, it really helps us develop a relationship that it's easy to understand where you want to go and it's easier for me to help you get there. It, it really is a relationship because you're going to be with them for quite yeah, a while. Right? Yeah, we, we, we try to run a three to five appointment process because we don't want to rush through anything and we want to make sure that all their questions are answered. We want to make sure that we're able to do everything that they have and want and that all their goals are achieved at the end. Now, when you look at the clients that you work with, do you specialize? A lot of people specialize in specific types or different industries. Do you specialize? You know, I would like to say that I specialize in my clients because I really want to focus on them and find out as much as I can and develop specific things for them. Not anything cookie cutter, but help them develop their plan the way they want it. I like that. That's a, that is a heck of an answer because everybody is different and you in really getting to know somebody. I mean, gosh, that's, uh, that's what they need. Uh, so you've been doing this for a little while. Yeah, almost 20 years. 20 years. So you've yeah. seen some changes over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, you and I are real close in age. And, and right. uh, has that perspective of being in the industry and now you're, now you're getting closer to retirement, uh, eventually you can see that, that yeah, finish line. you can see the finish line. Does that give you a different perspective when you're working with folks? You know, it does because in the, in the past, it's, it's, I've always done it the same way that I always wanted to find out and, and, and help educate people the best I possibly can. But now that it's getting closer for me and I'm realizing, okay, I've, I'm answering some of these questions myself as I go along, it's helping me to lead people the right way with, their, with, with, with what they want and their goals. Mm -hmm. You know, and now I, I think back to what you said a second ago of that, that you do at Gemini Financial. It's not one appointment. It's multiple appointments, and I can, now I can see why that first appointment, it almost sounds like a first date. Yeah, it really, it, it sounds like that, and it kind of is, because if we don't know each other and you don't have any trust in me and I don't have any trust in you, it's really not a good partnership, and good partnerships usually don't last. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what very well said. So most of your clients, you start out with folks that are about 10, 12 years before retirement? Is that that's really the number that we see a lot. Most of the people that contact us are somewhere between the ages of 53 and 57, um, and we start working through the process with them and helping them, like I said, see the finish line and help them reach it faster. Do you think that that age group pops up? Because the, is that about the age where you're, the kids are through maybe college and now it's time like, oh gosh, I, I, maybe I can retire? You know, I've, I've never thought of it that way until recently because I have a 13 year old and a 20 year old and now my 20 year old's almost done with college and eight years my, my youngest will be moving on as well and that's about the age I'll be. So yeah, I guess it kind of falls in there and it's, it kind of led me that way. Well, that's awesome. One of the things that you said when we had we were talking off camera, and I really I want to share this is, you said that it's not with with the services that Gemini Financial provides. It's not about it's not just about the money, it's about the people you affect. And can you talk a little bit about that? You know, I started in this business almost 20 years ago, as I said, and I started because 
uh, I had a guy that was in the business. They said, man, the money's good. You get to go out and you work hard and earn what you, whatever you make, you keep and sure. so on and so on. So I thought, you know, I'd, I'd love to do it because I like to meet people and I like to challenge myself that way. Um, early in my process of business, getting started in the business, I, of course, like many, talked to friends. Hey, you know, if there's anything you need. And some friends came to me and said, hey, you know, let me, I need to talk to you about some life insurance. Sure. Didn't tell his wife, his family. I think he was probably helping me get started in the business as well as anything else. But um, we did his life policy, got it issued, turned back to him. And uh, it was just over a year later, um, he has a couple of kids. Uh, he was hit by a drunk driver and, and, and deceased. And um, at the funeral, I remember looking at his wife and her not knowing that what she was going to do because she didn't even know he had the policy. Wow. And being able to deliver that policy and ha seeing how it really affects people, it really changed my perspective of the business and what we do every day. We really get the opportunity to make differences. That's right. That is fantastic. Well, um, here's what we're going to do. We are going to, we're going to pivot and we're going to take a break and we're going to come back. And what we're going to do, we're going to come back on Right of the Money. Trey and I are going to talk about Trey. So we're going to get to know you a little bit better. You said the process of getting to know people, super important for Gemini Financial. Well, we the people are going to get to know Trey. So you don't want to miss that. We'll see you on the other side of the break.